Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on using Pythagoras theorem to solve problems involving movement in cardinal directions. And by cardinal directions we just mean east, north, south, west, so directions on a compass. Let's read the question. From point X, Bintu walks 110 metres due north to point Y. From Y, she then walks X metres due west to point Z. Bintu is now 230 metres from point X. Find the value of x, rounding your answer to one decimal place. Now the important thing here is to draw a diagram. So if bin 2 is initially here from point x, bin 2 walks 110 metres due north. So let's do 110 metres. And we're now at a point y. From y she then walks x metres due west. So then you're going to walk west, west is in that direction, in, in case you've forgotten your cardinal directions, that's north, east, west, south. So we initially moved north, north, and now we've now gone west to the left. So she walks x metres, so let's put the x there, due west to point z, so she's now at point z. And we're told Bintu is now 230 metres from point x, so this point z is 230 metres from point X. And I'm just going to move that 110 here just so it's a bit clearer. Find the value of X, round your answer to one decimal place. So we've now got a right angle triangle. Look, that's a right angle triangle where we've got the two shorter lengths of this right angle triangle are X and 110, and the hypotenuse, the longer length, which is the longest length, which is opposite the right angle, that's 230. Remember Pythagoras theorem, you just do one of the shorter lengths squared plus the other shorter length squared is equal to the hypotenuse, the longest length squared. So to get x on its own, we could subtract the 110 squared. So x squared is 230 squared minus 110 squared. And then we're just going to square root both sides. So x is the square root of 230 squared minus 110 squared. So we do that all on a calculator. The square root of 230 squared minus 110 squared. And we want to get it as a decimal, so it is 201.990, and we want it to one decimal place, so that would be equal to 202.0, and what's the unit? So it's in metres, so metres to one decimal place. And that is the final answer.